Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this final video on our short series about fixed assets in Zero, we're going to take a look at how you can run depreciation on those fixed assets. So just in the fixed assets section here, you can see there's a button up the top here called run depreciation. So this is something that you would do every month or every year, depending on the size of your business and how often you report, for example. So if you report your financials every month, then you would most likely run your depreciation monthly. But if you were a smaller business and you reported things annually, then either you or your tax accountant would run the depreciation uh, once a year. So here in the demo company, you can see it says last depreciation none. So it actually has never been run here in the demo company. So when we run it, it will be the first time. Obviously, after you do run it, um, that note will change up there. Now, depreciation only runs for registered assets, so it won't do it for any of these draft assets. So let's go over to the registered tab. And what we've got here is four assets and they've all been purchased in November. So let's just see how we go with running some depreciation on those. So we'll click on run depreciation. Okay, so we end up at this run depreciation screen. So we just need to um, choose our date range here. So it's got from the 1st of July to the 31st of July, and that's only one month. And you might remember we actually added all those assets in November. So that's why it's saying there's no depreciable assets there for that date range. So we'll change that to 30th of November. Okay, so now it's giving us these two asset types, those two asset classes um, that we created before, and it's telling us that we're going to have some depreciation come through on those. So let's just click confirm and we'll go to registered. Okay, and now we can see that all four of these assets have all had a little bit of depreciation come off. Um, it's only very small amounts because we just ran the depreciation up to the 30th of November and all of these assets were bought in November. So there's not even a month's worth of depreciation on these assets. Obviously in future, if you run it for a full month or for a full year, there's gonna be a lot more depreciation and those book values will be, mu will be much lower. Okay, at the top here, you can also see that the last depreciation date is the 30th of November. So that's a good way of just seeing at a glance um, when was the last time you ran your depreciation up until. So before we finish, I'll just go and show you a report. So if we come down here to fixed assets and we look at that depreciation schedule and we'll just have to choose the date range to 30th of uh, November. Okay, so we can see here, we've got those assets that we depreciated and it's got the cost price um, and it's got the depreciation down here and then it's got the closing values down here. So if you need to have a look at that information on a report, this is where you can go to do that. So that brings us to the end of the lesson on depreciation and also the end of the short series on here about fixed assets in zero.